Hi, this is Irima from the University of Calgary. Today I'll be talking about transducer manipulation and the five basic movements of the ultrasound transducer. Now, even though there are only five basic movements, a lot of different terms are commonly being used. So it's important to know these so that we can have a common language during teaching. Now, throughout this talk, terms that are recommended by the American Institute of Ultrasound and Medicine will be highlighted, but the other use terms will also be listed in our talk. When talking about probe movements, just remember that the transducer itself also has a long axis and a short axis. So sometimes the movements actually refer to the axis of the transducer. Sliding, or a less commonly used term is translating, refers to the type of movement where the whole transducer is moving along the plane, which can either be along its own long axis like so, or along its short axis like so. Having said that, most commonly we'll be referring to the direction in relation to the patient, such as sliding the transducer more medially or sliding the transducer to the patient's left, etc. Rotating is fairly intuitive. You can either rotate the transducer clockwise, like so, or you can rotate the transducer counterclockwise, like so. Tilting, also called fanning, sweeping, or angulating, refers to this sort of movement along the transducer's short axis. Rocking, or heel towing, refers to a similar type of motion, but along the transducer's long axis this time. And the last movement is compressing, and that just refers to pressing the transducer in or applying a downward motion onto the transducer. And here they all are, the five motions that you really do need to know so that you're familiar with what your instructor or textbook is referring to. And thanks for listening. Tune in to our website for additional videos.